Was that a burp? Yeah, it was a tiny one. Uh, two. One of my cats came over and rubbed against my leg. Mm -hmm. That's why I said hi. They missed me. All three of them. Excuse me. Uh, where one. when I came home. Yep. When I came home today, um, all three of them were standing at the door, meowing at me. Hmm. Our neighbor was taking care of them, but they were very much like, Where's our humans? Where are they? They so stared at your neighbor and said, You are not enough for us. You're not my human. Where the fuck's my human? I desire the Cyclops. <laughs> Okay, you, you give me food, that's nice, but I want my human to give me food, not you. Uh... Did I... I what gave you the overhaul. Uh, we defeated Genova Death after uh, right. going through the, um... The snow place? Yeah. I couldn't remember what it was called. No reason to have Opolio hog all the Bahamuts. I'll give Neo Bahamut to Fumble Gus here. <laughs> uh, There's multiple Bahamuts? There's three Bahamuts in this game. Oh, damn. What are the differences? Uh, well, I'll show you. Okay. Oh, yeah, this stuff. In the crater. Oh, crater, yeah. crater was the word I was Ouch. trying to remember. Why is my stream volume so bad? Oh. There we go. <laughs> I made it. I got through the storm. <laughs> Yay! Did it. <sighs> what is this? What happened? Calm down, Hambone. Sephiroth is near. Anything could happen. Nibelheim. But Hambone, isn't this an illusion? This is an illusion Sephiroth made up. <clears throat> He's trying to confuse us. It'll be alright. As long as we know it's an illusion, there's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, let's keep going. Yeah, you're right. Look! Let's go. Who are Apol you? Apollo, something strange here. Who is this guy? Oh, oh. This is so stupid. Come 
on, we have to hurry back to the real world. <clears throat> Apolio, it's just an illusion. Don't worry about it. What's next? Stop it already! This is insane! This is what actually happened five years ago. But it's probably not me that's going to come out of the Shinra Mansion. He's going to try and show us another stupid illusion. See? Didn't I tell you? Raditz looking motherfucker. <laughs> hey, it's you! You're still sane, right? Come over here and help me. I don't want to watch this. Apolio, don't watch! I'll check this house. You check that one over there. What's wrong, Hambone? I told you before, right? As long as we know that it's just an illusion, there's no need to be scared. Everyone okay? Um, this was a hallucination. Sephiroth, I know you're listening. I know what you want to say that I wasn't in Nibelheim five years ago. That's it, isn't it? I see you finally understand. What you were trying to say is that you want to confuse me, right? But, even making me see those things won't affect me. I remember it all. The heat of the fire, the pain in my body, and in my heart. Oh, is that so? You are just a puppet. You have no heart, and cannot feel any pain. How can there be any meaning in the memory of such a being? What I have shown you is reality. What you remember, that is the illusion. Apollo. Polio. Do you understand? <clears throat> I don't want to understand. But, I want to ask you one thing. Why? Why are you doing this? <clears throat> <laughs> I want to take you back to your real self. The one who gave me the black materia that day. Who would have ever thought a failed experiment would prove so useful? Hojo would die if he knew. Hojo? What does he have to do with me? Five years ago, you were... constructed by Hojo piece by piece, right after Nibelheim was burnt. A puppet made up of vibrant Genova cells, her knowledge, and the power of the Mako. An incomplete Sephiroth clone, not even given a number. That is your reality. Apolio. Polio, don't listen to him. Close your ears. Close your eyes. What's wrong, Hambo? I'm not affected by it. I wasn't paying attention to him. All that talk of Hojo constructing you is a lie. Don't we have our memories together? Being kids together. Straight, um, 
Starlit Knights. <laughs> Hambone. Why are you so worried and scared by those words? Hmm. Shall I show every shall I show everyone here what's in your heart? <laughs> you look like you're not feeling well. Hambo? Is Sephiroth right? And what's this guy doing? I don't know. I can't talk to him. Help, oh, I'm dead. Help, I'm a dying NPC and I can't move. <laughs> a polio. Why are you so scared? Don't worry about me, I'm alright. No matter how confused I am. I'll never believe a word that Sephiroth says. It's true that sometimes I can't figure out who I am. There's a lot of things muddled up in my memories. But Hambone... But, but you said, long time no see, Opolio, right? Those words will always support me. I am the one you grew up with. I'm Opolio of Nibelheim. No matter how much I lose faith in myself, that is the truth. That's why you shouldn't be so scared. No matter what anyone else says to me, it's your attitude that counts. No, that's not true, Apollo. What's not? Aren't I the same Apollo you grew up with? That's not what I mean. I don't know how to say it. Apollo, I need some time. Just give me a little time. Apolio, don't blame Hambone. The ability to change one's looks, voice, and words is the power of Genova. Inside of you, Genova has merged with Hambone's memories, creating you. Out of Hambone's memory. A boy named Opolio might have just been a part of them. Opolio. Please, don't think right now. <laughs> think, Opolio. Opolio? <laughs> Excuse me. You never had a name. Shut up, Sephiroth. You still don't understand. Then... Do you remember the picture that we took before we headed to Mount Nibble? Hambo, you remember, right? But there is no way he would know. Now, what happened to that picture? Is this it? Do you want to see it? It turned out pretty good. Apollo, don't... I should be in the picture. Even if I'm not there, no worry. This is just an illusory world Sephiroth made up. Never heard the word illusory before. Illusory. Yep. That's not a polio. That's Raditz. It's, it's Raditz. <laughs> just as I thought. This picture is a fake. The truth is in my memory. <sighs> Five years ago, I came back to Nibelheim to inspect the reactor. I was 16. The town hadn't changed at all. What did I do? Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh. Four. I saw my mom. I saw the people in town. Yeah. I went to Hambone's room. There, I... I played the piano. I spent the night and went to the reactor in Mount Nibble. I was excited about it. 
because that was my first mission after becoming first class and soldier. Soldier, first class? Soldier? When did I enter soldier? How did I join soldier? Why... Why can't I remember? I'm... I'm... That's right. I didn't have to worry about it because I was... A polio? Let's go, Hambone. I'm... I'm alright. <clears throat> oh boy, I get to be the president again. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Materia. The outside is rich with macro energy. The inside is a treasure tre tre from <laughs> treasure trove of materia. This truly is the promised land. <laughs> there is no such thing as the promised land. It's a legend, an old wives' tale. It's utterly ridiculous. <sighs> Everything is as is as I imagined it to be. Isn't it splendid? It is that kind of dullness that makes you a second-rate scientist. What's happening? Coming from within the wall. Something's in there. It's moving. Weapon. Then it really does exist. I didn't believe in it. What does this mean? Weapon. Monsters created by the planet. It appears when the planet is in danger, reducing everything to nothingness. That's what was stated in Professor, Professor Gast's report. I never saw that report. Where is it? Here. Right here. You keep a lot of things to yourself. I wonder how Apolio and the others are. It's hard to believe such a small piece of materia is able to destroy the planet. What the? Is everyone all right? What happened? What's going on? Where am I? Don't leave me alone! Is that Hambone? That's Hambone. Okay. Mr. Floof, you're here! I'm so glad! <clears throat> Hambone? Something is strange. Why was it dark all of a sudden? And where is everybody? Everyone's waiting. Apolio's in trouble. Please come help us. Over there. Right. I'm not sure I understand, but I'll go if you want me to.
<laughs> and to remember. The black. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. The black materia. Hey, that wasn't really him, Bone. I figured once I... Because the name didn't show up. Yeah. I was just like, wait a minute. Mr. President, I've got a bad <sighs> feeling about this. Hmm, maybe we should go back to our ship now. We need to prepare <laughs> for the inspection anyway. Oh, hi. Huh. Hey, where did you come from? Don't know. This place is going to get rough. Better leave things to me and get out of here while you still can. Leave things to you? Huh. I don't know what you mean. This is where the reunion is happening. Where everything begins and ends. Oh, she said Opolio. Oh, Opolio! I'm here. I'm here to help you, Opolio. Where's the black materia? It's safe. I'm holding on to it. I'll take it from here. Give me the black materia. Are you all right, Apolio? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. No, I'm not. Help me, please. Then here you go. I was a little apprehensive holding this thing. Thanks. Leave the rest to me. Come on, the black materia. Please wait just a little longer, says someone. Me? Probably Ambone. Oh, please wait just a little longer. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, thanks for everything. And I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry. Especially you, Hambone. I'm really sorry. You've been so good to me, I, I don't know what to say. I never lived up to being Opolio. Hambone, maybe one day you'll meet the real Opolio. <laughs> this is perfect! It means that my experiment was a complete success. What number were you? Huh? Where's your tattoo? Professor Hojo, I don't have a number. You didn't give me one because you said I was a failed experiment. What the? You mean only a failure made it here? Professor, please give me a number. Please, Professor. Shut up, miserable failure. Oh no. Whoa. Must bye go. bye. My planet needs me. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, what's that? He's a Sephiroth clone I created after the real Sephiroth died five years ago. Genova cells and Mako, with my knowledge and skills, have been combined with science and nature to bring him to life. I'm not wild about the failure part. But the Genova reunion theory has now been proven. You see, even if Genova's body is dismembered, it will eventually become one again. 
That's what is meant by Genova's reunion. I have been waiting for the reunion to start. Five years have passed, and now the clones have begun to return. I thought the clones would begin to gather at Midgar where Genova is stored. <laughs> Hiccup. But my predictions were not entirely correct. Genova itself began to move away from the Shinra building. But soon a genius... Well, but being a genius that I am, I soon figured it out. You see, it was all Sephiroth's doing. Sephiroth is not just content to diffuse his will into the life stream, he wants to manipulate the clones himself. Yes, <clears throat> that was how it got started. I wondered where the clones were going, but I was never able to figure it out. I couldn't figure it out either. The one thing that I did know was that Sephiroth was at the final destination. I wasn't pursuing Sephiroth. I was being summoned by Sephiroth. All the anger and hatred I bore him made it impossible for me to ever forget him. That and what he gave me. Sephiroth? Sephiroth? I'm here. And I brought you the Black Materia. Show yourself to me. Where are you? Sephiroth. So we finally meet again. A little worried the game froze for a second there. Uh oh. Did you see it? It's Sephiroth! So he is here! This is perfect. Both Genova's reunion and Sephiroth's will. They won't be diffused into the life stream, but gathered here! <laughs> Twitching off drugs. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Oh, hi, Bone. Liz? Sorry. Oh. Um, <clears throat> I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Well, my internet was lagging for a minute. Ah, uh, okay. Um, yeah. What are you so happy about, Professor? You know what this means, don't you? Apollo has the black materia. Sephiroth is going to summon... Uh, is going to summon Meteor. Every single person is going to die. Whatever I say now is too little. Too late. We must evacuate. I want you all to come with me. There is still much more I want to hear. Three. Thank you. Polio, no! Stop! Please!
how bad stuff's are happening. Oh no! Why, yes. Discord does not like these cutscenes. Mm, I don't think it's Discord. I think it's the capture card. Oh, really? Why was it buffering like every two seconds for you too? Yeah. Oh, okay. But like, you, when I play particularly PlayStation games, I don't know, I always hear like this popping when I'm streaming in the audio. Mm. That doesn't happen when I'm not streaming, so I don't... I, I, I think there's an issue with the capture card. Maybe. I don't know. The polio. Polio. I don't know what to do. I was always like that. What's the matter? Oh. Poor kid. Oh. Are you alright? Hambone. Uh, 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 Hambone. Hambone. Oh, a polio. That's right. I'm a polio. Is it really you, a polio? I never thought I'd find you here. Aw, oh, damn. You really like our voices? Thanks. Yay! Also, I will be right back. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while. Well, while she stepped away, <laughs> uh, here the voices will get much worse. What happened to you? You don't look well. Yeah, it's nothing. I'm okay. How long has it been? Five years. Little. Oh, hey, Sonic. <laughs> Tifa has a cold. She just got it. It's raining on the screen there, so, you know. What is it? It's really been a long time. Actually, it's been seven years. You got your wish and joined soldier. Quit after the Sephiroth incident and now you're a mercenary. You told me a lot about what happened after you left Nibelheim. But... 
something's wrong. I felt there was something strange about the things you talked about. Yeah, see, I just they say a little rain never hurt no one, but look what it did to Hambone here. All the things you didn't know that you should, and other things you shouldn't know that you did. I wanted to make sure, but then I heard you were going far away. But <laughs> really aged quickly. <laughs> this this is what the ravages of age sound like. <laughs> and I didn't want that. I didn't know what to do, so I thought I needed more time. And that's why I told you about the avalanche job. I wanted to be with you, watch you. It's the Mako getting to her and nothing too crazy. Yeah, that's true. They were just, uh... You had a front row seat this, uh, to a powerful Mako uh, reaction. So that makes sense. Why, I bet she'll get over it by the time Linz gets back. <laughs> You'll be better soon. You've been asleep for a long time. Tifa was high on it while Cloud's been subjugated to it. Oh, that, uh, that went away while I was reading. Hey, why don't you ask? About him. Because I'm scared. Don't worry. I don't know what happened to Apolio either. Guess I shouldn't tell you not to worry. None of them know if he's all right. I, uh, if he's all right either. He's still alive, right? How long was I asleep? The sea now must have been about seven days. What about Sephiroth? You ain't over it yet. Remember that huge light in the northern cave? Since then, the crater's been surrounded by a huge barrier of light. Everyone knows Sephiroth sleeps in that big hole protected by the barrier. We can't do a damn thing about it. We just gotta wait till he wakes up. And on top of that, some huge monster called Weapon's been on a rampage. Weapon? Remember that huge monster that was with Sephiroth at the bottom of the crater? Well, it's up here now. They say it's some legendary monster from the past. Weapon is protecting Sephiroth. Dunno, but he's up here going around tearing shit up. Oh. They didn't... They didn't censor the word shit. They've censored a lot of words in... Sh in uh in text boxes in this game, but shit is not, uh, one of those words, I guess. <laughs> right now, Rufus fighting it. I hate to say it, but he's got guts. We should have been the ones to destroy it, but we ain't got no time. Time? Hey, how about media? We have to give up. Cloud done fucked up. <laughs> Don't know. I thought Apolio would show up to save you all. 
Professor Hojo wanted to check up on our polio too. What are you going to do to our polio? Sephiroth's alter ego. Meteor has been summoned. Essentially, it's all but over now. So there's no need for you now. No, maybe there is an important task for you. President, preparations for the public execution are complete. Execution? What are you going to get by executing us? You want to be executed for causing this situation. People are ignorant. They'll feel better as long as someone is punished. I take back what little praise I had for this damn jackass. Well, enjoy your last moments together. I'll tie your arms now. Hey, Digger, you don't want to talk to me? Well, fine. I don't want to talk to you either. Or you. Or anyone. You can't pass. You can't pass. You can't pass. <gasps> well, shit. Is everyone here? These are the ones who brought this madness into the world. The hell are these people? We will be broadcasting your miserable deaths live on national television. Scarlet, why a public execution in this day and age? With the chaos resulting from the meteor reports, we desperately need to rally public support. It's better that we punish somebody, anybody. You make me sick. Ha ha ha! They're never admitted, but everyone loves this stuff. We'll start with this girl. If you gotta do it, do me first! Camera this way, make sure you get this. The audience just eats up tearful goodbyes. What are you doing? This is my special gas chamber. Take your time and enjoy a slow, painful death. Watching remake, she tries to execute Marlene instead. Is that true? Stuck up, poopy head. Oh, they done fucked up. They dropped the key. Well, now the show is about to begin. Ha ha ha. That's just something I thought up. Oh, okay. Well, that would make Buschetti extra mad. Emergency. Emergency. Weapons approaching. Attention all military personnel. Take your positions. Oh no, it's a weapon! 
Run! Hey, hey, all of you! Damn, why now? How does it feel now, Scarlet? Hmm, so you didn't run? I'm impressed. So how do I feel right now? Nah. Huh? Sleeping gas? Weirdo. Your grenade woke my biscotti up, so, you know. What we don't know is that the actual weapon isn't the kaiju, it's just a colossal Beretta. Mm. Wouldn't that still make it a kaiju, though? I'm here to help! Who are you? Ain't you part of Shinra? Let's just say I'm against capital punishment. Besides, I hate this broad. Come on, we gotta help Hambone. I'll keep watch at the entrance. Fools have already pushed the switch. Not the switch. <laughs> I'll keep watch at the entrance. Uh. Hold on, where is... Oh, it's just with you? Wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay. It won't open! It's weapon! There's been so many attacks lately. Can we handle it? I believe so. Your orders? No need to ask. We'll give it a shot from our big cannon. Open cannon doors! Activate cannon! Target! Weapon! these cutscenes. Preparations complete. Cannon. Fire! Good job. You shot the ocean. Did we make Aquaman cry? Uh, we might have made him shiver a little. Aquaman's just sitting like... 500 feet below sea level just... Huh. What the hell was that? Did we get him? Seems so. Weapon approaching. Speed 50 knots. It's heading right toward us! It can't be! We hit it dead on! How about the cannon? It'll take some time to reload. 
and use regular firepower in the meantime. Yes, sir. Open our artillery doors. Target weapon. Don't let it land. Why, well, hey there, big fella. The weapon theme is great. Speed 70 knots. Weapon closing in. No good, it's attacking! I just fell over for no reason. Yes. Biscotti, how? Hold your breath. Hold on as long as you can. Come on, I can't hold on forever. Switch. We heard about that part. The gas room's probably locked from a different room. Hmm. We gotta go with a different plan. Let's get out of this room first. Ham boom! I'll help you. I promise. Uh, I should probably uh, equip Buscardi. Did all his get dumped, maybe? Okay, it did. Cause it's all here. This too. Well, so now you can't save the girl. Ha 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 ha. God damn it. Okay, okay, time for plan B. Let's run to the airport. Why the airport? And leave Hambone there? Trust me, trust me, we gotta take a chance. Uh, airport is which away? I, I'm not sure. Really, soldiers, does this seem like the appropriate time?
<laughs> Fuck off out of here. Ah, now Poyo is here, and Lens has still stepped away. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Okay, I see. Just wondering why scenes weren't scening. Go ahead and cure you, because that was a lot. I know you're in a hurry, but please, if I could have a word. Shut up! I'm in a hurry! Eh. Don't make so much noise, it's me, me, Poyo! The hell are you doing here? Explain later. Now we gotta get to the airport. Wish I should uh, equip her too. What do the dice say? Ooh, that's... that was quite a few sixes. Master Chocomug, cool. <laughs> we officially have a mastered summon materia.
Yo, sure this is the right way? It's a dead end. Uh-oh, did I make a wrong turn? You damn cat! What the hell are we gonna do now? They all be coming soon! Yo, better watch my back till the end, partner. Move your feet and arms and use your head to get out of the chair. Okay. Let's see, I think it's legs. And I'm free. Which button stops that gas? This one, I think. Hey. Takes care of the gas problem. Open it! Yeah, I love that scene. What'd you do? Hey, you open it! First you locked me in this weird place and now you tell me to come out? Make up your mind! <laughs> oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm thanks, back. Weapon. Oh, thank God you're back. What did I miss? <laughs> um, well, we were imprisoned by Shinra, and I just broke Tifa out of prison. And, okay. uh, and, uh, the weapons were released. Uh, one of the weapons got its head blown off by the, it's by the Junon cannon. And, uh, yeah, you're, you're back just in time for a scene that I didn't want to voice. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had to help the rest of my family who just got back, uh, unpack their stuff. Gotcha. She runs awful nimbly upon the Sister Ray. Yeah? She does. Whoa. Our little game of hide-and-seek ends here. <clears throat> the execution may have been unsuccessful, but your death from, uh, your death by falling from here and crashing into the water below still might be pretty exciting. Might be.
Stuck up to the end. Quit slapping me, you old wench. Press the circle button. Can't read that. Uh... Same something. Yeah, yeah, I got her. I can't read it in time. <laughs> hey, Ace. God, I can't stand it! Take her away. Now it's time to pay up. I'll really drop you if you don't settle down. <laughs> Run. Run to the end of the cannon. Jump! Yeah! Noise. Oh no! Okay, she good. got it. You okay? Ham bone? Internet's being stupid. I'm waiting for the street. Oh. There we go. My ch a bit. Forget about that. What's all this about? Well, I'll catch the details later. In any case, the airship, High Wind, is now yours. Hambone with cheeks. <laughs> No, Cheeks was from the last game we played. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, stream. There we go. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're safe. I'm going to stay up here a little longer. Yeah, Polio gets air sick. Uh. We have an airship now. Yay! We can go anywhere, do anything. <laughs> The penis pit is that away. Sorry, pit? go speak to Captain Lemguini. Yeah, you know where you where you captain a ship from the penis pit. Go commit crime. That's I will commit sweet. so many crimes. <laughs> My hands are full, so I'll excuse myself here. Let's chew the fat. Well, um, what should I talk about? Want to hear why we rebelled? Yeah. Working on the high wind, we spend every day slaving under Heidegger. 
Whenever he got yelled at by the president, he'd immediately take it out on the crew. We put up with it, with this all the time, even when he beat us. I mean, I finally made it on the crew of the famous High Wind, and there's no way I was going to quit over him. <gasps> Hiccup. Let's see, it must have been a week ago. It was my shift, and we were heading towards the North Cave. Everyone, including the President and Scarlet, got on, and with them I saw Lemguini, the leg a legendary pilot! And he was looking around the inside of the ship, looking really, you know, nostalgic. He even talked to us. I couldn't believe it, I was so impressed! He was every bit as warm-hearted as we'd always heard. Lemguini said that if he had the high wind, things would be a lot easier. And now here we are, off to save the planet. It's true, he really overwhelmed me. And that's why we decided to help. After the North Cave, we went to Junon and I started screaming, FIRE! FIRE! In the middle of all the commotion, we stole this ship from the Shinra. That's how it happened. Just a minor mutiny against our leaders. But Muschetti and you were captured by Heidegger. We waited seven days for a chance to rescue you guys before we finally could. So, thanks for our, to our successful mission, we were able to see you again. I hope I didn't bore you too much with that long story. Flyer ship. Oh, this is how to do it. Well, I already know how to do it, so shut up. So things have come to this. When you want to take off, just tell the pilot on the bridge. Yeah, when we catch a chocobo now, we can keep it in here. I'm bored. I'd like to ride a chocobo. How do I? So you gotta ride a uh, chocobo you've raised yourself. Then, if you bring your chocobo to this stable, I'll take care of it for you. I'll take care of it for you. Again. What? How do you raise a chocobo? Can't say I know much about that. If you want to know about raising chocobo, there's a chocobo ranch named Midgar. You should ask them. Alright. Damn it! Why couldn't- Why didn't you tell me you could fly an airship? I thought... The handball was gone for good. Sorry, but I had to do something to trick the enemy. Come on! Everyone's waiting! Everyone? Everyone's here? Oh yeah, everyone. Except for the one you want to see. Yeah. Good old Chocobo Ranch. Good old Ram Ranch. Huh. Welcome to my airship, the High Wind. What's wrong? You should be more excited than that. Lemguini. Yeah. Not enough crew. Well, takes all kinds. Hambone, I'll give you information, Shinra. Okay. Ask me if there's anything you don't understand. <laughs> All we have to do is just pilot. They don't have to talk to us. Hey you! What the hell are you doing? Whenever anyone talks to me, I get all nervous and mess things up. Hey you! What the hell are you doing? Yeah! Don't talk to me right now! Do you think we aren't strong enough without Opolio? Do you think we can't save the planet alone? Meteor's coming. And Weapon is on a rampage. 
at a time like this, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. No idea at all. Get a hold of yourself, Hambone. Come on, let's think about this. No way we can get off of this train we're on. If only a polio was here, everything would be fine. Uh, four. A polio would... Thank you. Mm -hmm. Damn that cocky little way he did. Tell us what to do. We're not on a train, we're on an airship. <laughs> Stupid. Text is really blurry for me right now. There we go. He'd say, everything's under control, Hambone. Uh, Hambone, when'd you become such a wimp? I'm sorry, Biscuit. I'm kind of shocked myself. I'm so depressed. Aww. And Hambo. Me too, I know how that feels. Oh, me too. Yeah. And Hambo, the reason why we all thought it was Opolio was because... I know. That's why I want to make sure. That's why I have to see him again. So glad you're all right, Hambo. What? Does Apolio always gotta be around? We did fine without him in the beginning, right? And what happened to the tough? What happened to well, tough girl I you. used to know? Where'd she go to? But I love him. But I love him. But father, I love him. I want you to know well, that I, I didn't dislike him. him. Gotta admit, he was a strange dude. Just when you thought he was cool, he'd go and do some damn fool thing. And when you thought he was smart, he'd show how stupid he was. Everything about him, from his movements to his speech, were kinda odd. Knowing what I do now, I can see why I was that way. But father, I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as long as you stay alive, you just might see him again someday. So cheer up, sis. 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 Wait, are they related? No. It's just a term of endearment. Oh. Okay. Strange. Um. Be able to see him someday. If we can find out where he is, the high wind will get us there in no time. <sighs> Maybe. Apolio is still stuck deep in the north crater, where the ground cracked and swallowed him up. Buried in the depths of the underground. Deep within the earth. Are you talking about the life stream? You know, when you consider that everybody comes from and goes back to the life stream, everybody in this world is related. The life stream sometimes gushes out to the surface from cracks in the ocean floor. I heard that such a place exists. Maybe, just maybe, Opolio's. Captain Lemguini! Ham Hambone, sorry, but I've got to show this moron how to land the ship. Don't worry, it'll be done in a minute. Oh, and Hambone, no matter what your goal is, you've got to be prepared. Go to your room and get ready for our operation. I have a room? 
I know uh, about books. You're still saying the same thing. <laughs> I was never loved enough for one. Ambone, thank you for a job well done. Oh, I can make a team. Uh, this isn't my room, though. There should be a place to nap upon the ship. And... Just a heads up, I am probably gonna have to leave in about 45 minutes, just cause I, I have to go to bed early tonight. Okay. Um... Wait, where is it? Oh, no. Now this guy is also supposed to get also supposed to give us a chance to rest. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, here we go. Up, you go into a crack, a big old crack in the ground. Everything appears calm right now at Shinra, so now's the time to look for Apolio. I'm worried about him too. I wonder where Apolio is, or could he already be? No, he's not dead. Too much hope is the opposite of despair. An overpowering love may consume you in the end. There appears to be a small island near the life stream. They said the life stream sometimes suddenly gushes out at the South Island. I remember hearing about this from Seto when I was a child, but I don't remember much else. I'm sorry, Hambo. Okay, you just signal when you're ready to fly full speed. Whenever I think of Opolio, everything gets all jumbled up. No matter how powerful Shinra or Hojo is, I can't believe they can create humans. But because of them, we know that Meteor is heading towards us. You know, even if I saw him, I don't have a damn idea what I'd do. Uh, are we going? We're going. Uh, we're off! Hey look, meteors up in the sky. That's ominous and foreboding. More importantly, I, I can go anywhere now. Except one place. Ooh, 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 I do want to go here. It's a little house in the middle of the snow. I wonder what could what it could be. A green chocobo with an enemy skill material. Oh boy! Oh, oh, it's unusual for people to come to such an out of the way place. I can't remember how many years it's been since the last person came. Who are you? Me? I'm... 
I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> what? You don't know who you are? Been a while since I gave it any thought. I wonder what they used to call me. Oh, yeah! They used to call me the Chocobo Sage. That's right. Right, that was it. The Chocobo Sage. Who would forget that? Now, what can I do for you? Uh, what about that Chocobo? That Chocobo? Well, that one is... Let's see now. I don't quite remember. Now what can I do for you? <laughs> Sell me something. Alright, we got nuts and we got greens. I'll buy them all. Chocobo do. All right, we found the Chocobo Sage. Uh, now I want to go to Icicle Inn. I think this is the Great Glacier. Yeah. Oh, well, there's the, uh, there's the, the, the crater. Ow! Well, what the hell was that? That came buzzing past here like a powerhouse. Yeah, that was weird. Ah! Now, hold on a second. Ah! Okay, but if I just wanted to go into the, uh, crater... Whoa! Hmm, okay. There's Icicle in, but I don't... Can I land on snow? No, I can't land on snow. Uh, where's the nearest grass? There it is. Mystify, why not? Made it all the way to Icicle Inn without, uh, without even running into a thing. There's a little girl talking. Girl. <clears throat> Grandpa, wake up! We have a customer! Oh, welcome. Glad you came. Oh, 
take that dragon claw. Wait, own two. I already had one. Oh. Probably should have paid attention to that. Well, I guess I'll sell that one that I just bought like a dumbass. Actually, can sell a lot of things. Oh yeah. Yeah. Rune blades useful. I'll keep that. Oh, I guess I might as well sell all of uh, Bessany's weapons. She don't need them no more. Gotta go look after me pups. You all have a great stream. Oh, tell the pups I said, who's a good boy? Puppy! What are their names? Yeah, what are their names? And breeds. All the questions. <laughs> Bless you. I thank you. Trapper and Abby. Oh, I had a Cute. cat named Abby. What breeds are they? Yeah, you did. She was beautiful. She was. <laughs> These are little girls. Oh, okay. Can't tell. <clears throat> I heard that there's a barrier on the top of the mountain. There is. I just flew into it four times for no reason. Corgi Cross and Australian Shepherd. Oh, okay. Nice. Cute. What's a bear? What's a barrier? You mean the light on top of the mountain? <gasps> the hell? Sneven. Thank you. Uh huh. And I think this one's a lady. Okay. There's a barrier at the north end of the crater. You shouldn't go any further. Back had to clean out the pool. It better be spotless, Sonic. I don't pay you to leave leaves Blech. and shit in my pool. I also don't pay you. Yeah. I need more months. Yeah. I need all the months. Tell that to the storm we had two days ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, uh, that's what happened to my childhood pool. I had a... When I, when I was a kid, we had an above-ground pool. And, uh, and there was a big ice storm when I was 12. And that, uh, 
brought a tree branch down on top of it and ruined it forever. Oh, shit. No! That's sad. Yeah. That's sad. It, like, tore the lining and everything, so it was fucked. No! Oh, that's... Who's this? Uh, that there's, a uh, Lady. Lady, okay. I've been living in this town for 60 years, and still, I caught a cold. Wow. I heard there's a doctor on the southern island somewhere. I sure wish he'd come here. <coughs> a southern island, you say? Is that a cat? That's a cat. Yeah. Zero out of ten, too much trees. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what, what, what do trees even do for us? Trees suck. I'm just gonna say it. Everyone's thinking it, I'm just saying it. I think we should destroy all trees. I mean... Well... If we did that, we'd kind of ruin our oxygen supply, so... Oh, we've got plenty of it. It's the first time that the temperature has dipped this low this fast. There's also that mysterious light at the northern limits, too. Does it mean that we've reached the end of the world? Perhaps. Well, you heard the lady. There's a doctor upon a southern island. Away we go. Come on, stream. Low for me there. Yeah, come yeah. on, stream. <gasps> Hiccup. Wait, the fucking internet. Dude. I should probably equip those weapons I bought. Come on, stream. You didn't do anything. Yet. Okay. Wow. Poison. Alright. Poison. Yeah, Discord's buffering. As it does. Hey, I made it all the way back yeah. without getting into a fight, too. You can graze the water. You guys know that I love grazing waters in airships. Yeah. <laughs> This is an interesting place. What could it be? Oh. It's like another crater. I was just gonna say that. Is this? I think this is my go. I mean, this is place where we're going. Here's my deal. It's a quiet little hot springs town. Just the perfect place for old folks like us to live out our lives. I hear that things ain't so peaceful on the outside, but here it's still nice and quiet. Well, ain't that great? Ain't that special? Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, what's wrong with their sprite? Oh, uh, you know, she's just, uh, she's just having a, a time. I don't know if it's a good time or a bad time, but she's having a time. Oh, this, oh, I know who this is. Uh, this is a, 
character I voiced for Flying Princess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nah, nothing bad's gonna happen. But anyhow, that overgrown. But anyhow, that overgrown moon is going to fall down on us, isn't it? What do you think this is, Majora's Mask? Uh. This is no joke. We gotta start stocking up on supplies, but uh, before they're all gone. The way. Uh, come on, Tex. It's blurry for me. Hold on. Okay. Come on. There we go. Out of the way! Hey! Move it! Move it! I want to know how she got the white chocobo. I want that white chocobo. Mm -hmm. That's that's a chocobo. It's very small. Welcome. We always welcome cash. I like it. Now, about where you want to go. I'm afraid other customers have already booked it up. There's nothing left. Just kidding, just a little joke. Now, what can I do for you? Oh, Linz, you and your clocks. Rick Zach, play the yeah. song of time. I'll play the song of storms. Because I like the song of storms. I can play the song of time. If I had my ocarina, but I don't know where it is because it's Thank probably you. packed Come in again. a box. Because the moon. One packet. That thing's important. You need to play the bolero of fire. Discord. Discord. Come on. <laughs> what the fuck? I would play all those Zelda songs for you if uh, I had my ocarina, but it's packed away somewhere. Mm. Mm. Is your ocarina blue? <laughs> yeah, it's it's an actual ocarina, but it's like a it's a Zelda thing. Cool. Yeah. Oh, this is a lady, by the way. Oh, okay. I was resetting my stream again. Um, gather round, gather round. This is a bargain. We got the best armor. Uh, we got the best armor and weapons, the likes of which you won't find anywhere else. But it's first come, first serve, so get yours now. Step right up. You there, don't just stand around outside. Go on in. Come on, don't be shy. Step right up. I'll never, I'll never know why he wanted to open a store in, de in a dead town like this. What's up with him? <sighs> Skull Kid wins. Oh well. I mean, <laughs> we just reverse time and then he won't win. Welcome to the charity store, a store of love and courage. What can I get you today? Well, what about wisdom and power? <laughs> Duh. Don't worry Eight. about it. Man, I guess I shouldn't have bought all that stuff at uh, Icicle Inn. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, everything is is better here. Okay. Well. Crystal Cross will make you jump, jump. Thank you very much. Please come again. Uh, three. Thank 
Ninja. Doubt I'll get back to it. <laughs> How can you not get into the Chocobo theme? It's so fun. Come back with more money. All right, here's our uh, friend with the white chocobo again. That was you, Linz. I know, I was waiting for the stream to load. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, you again? You aren't here hoarding up goods, too, are you? Don't freak in front of me! Everything in this store is mine! I've got money to burn! I've got... Hold on... I need to fix the stream. Gotcha, gotcha. There we go. I've got money to burn. I've been saving it like mad just for a time like this. Come on, out of the way. Move, will ya? Move! Okay. I'm sorry. Get stuck up on toilet paper for the COVID times. <laughs> <laughs> I wipe my ass with swords. <laughs> Everything must come to an end. Her, her behavior is, reminds me of that. Yeah. And someday it's gonna be your turn. And the world's got to end sometime. Everybody leaves at one time or another, and everyone gets left also. That's just fate. It's sad, but there's nothing that can be done about it. So that's why I'm praying like this for all of you. Guess she predicted the pandemic 23 years later. Yeah. Here's old lady. I'm assuming we're waiting for the buffering. Then I assume I we're waiting for no reason. 
I am sorry. <laughs> you say you don't know when the stars are going are gonna fall out of the sky? Is that for real? I still don't believe it. How could this be happen? How could this be happen indeed? <laughs> How could this be happen? <laughs> Ancient weapon. There's End a lot of, of grammar errors in this part of the game. What the fuck? Yeah, there really is. I don't know nothing about that. I'm gonna live to be a hundred. There's tons of stuff I still gotta do. This is just the beginning. And what if... What what heave Shindra and Soldier done about it? Tell me! They're a waste! <laughs> what the fuck? Did the writers just die when they were making this part of the game? I guess so. Jesus. A uh, beautiful maid. Oh, it looks like a chef. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Actually, I'm a beautiful maid. I just work here in the accessory store part time. Everything, everything here can compare with the best goods anywhere. So, how about one? Oh, the, uh, the chocobo kid's not here. That's what I keep doing. Oh. We <laughs> 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 burped at the same. Oh, you burped? I didn't hear it. I, I did. I burped at the same time you did. Oh. I only <laughs> heard my own. I'll give you the... I'll give you five uh i'll give yours a five as well because it was one with mine thanks thank you stop by again <clears throat> uh, three a lady, I think. Lady? I think. Huh? Huh? Never seen you here before. You're from out of town? How's things on the outside? Between the earthquakes and meteor? It just... It just might be into, be the end of the world like everyone's been saying. Oh, how depressing. Uh, what a miracle world this is. Miserable world this is. What the fuck, brain? <laughs> it's a miracle. Hey, you're here too. <laughs> Chocobos acted cold to humans who don't seem like they'll give them greens. <laughs> well, this one's a lady. What I get you today? Ooh, there's HP plus and MP plus. I would like those, but I'm all out of money. Thank very. You come again. Thank very much. Thank. I'm trying Thanks to much. talk to you. Quit running so much. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna come crashing down. This woman is me. <laughs> Dream. When it all comes down to it, this world's about money, 
material thing. If you don't get him, you get um. If you get him, you can get by. You can get by whenever, wherever. Gotta buy, gotta buy, 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 buy. I'm gonna shop all I dry. Okay, the the here the part of the woman. The shopping part is not me. Okay. So you don't panic, but I would then. definitely be that. No, I just okay, panic. So she doesn't come here at all. I would definitely be that person that would just go into an insane paranoia. Uh, if I heard rumors of the world ending, that's what happened to me in middle school when I heard about the 2012 rumors. Oh. You were in middle that school was a during nervous that? wreck that whole year. Yep. Yes, I already graduated high school at that point. I was. Uh, no, I was in my last year of middle school, going into high school. Hmm. Let me, let me stop here real quick. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was held back a year, so that's why. Because I would have been, I would have just completed my first year of high school. Something about your, uh... But I was held back in third Something about your uh, vision impairment held you back? Yeah, I needed an extra year to... Because I was also learning Braille at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, so I needed an extra year to catch up on the actual curriculum since I was focusing more on Braille. Mm, okay. I have a feeling we will yeah. be at this ranch many times. Yeah, yeah, we will. Welcome! Uh, let's buy... I hope he sells it. He sells it! Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, hold on. I can sell something. What are they selling? What are they selling? They're selling chocolate! I guess you might sell the crystal oh. cone. And give me a mimic greens, okay. Really only needed the one. Alright. Um, but get some information. Feed, mating, chug about by the fence, right it outside. Eh, fuck it. Okay. Uh, talk, uh, little girl. Oh. Live forever, you say? I'll take one. <laughs> Chloe. Welcome. Hey, I got something good to tell you. The white chocobo likes it when you scratch behind its ears. Yeah. But if you scratch it someplace else, it, uh, someplace that it don't like, it'll get mad. So be careful. Cool. Cool, cool. Come on, you lazy Mary. Start rubbing me with that chocolate. There is a safe what? thing here somewhere. I do gotta head up. Alright, uh, let's just go on back to Medieval and do the thing that I came back to the farm for. Okay. Uh... I've been disconnected. Stream! You've been disconnected? Fucking Discord. It's being stupid. Hold on. Tell it to stop. Tell it you don't consent to I have to the... been. I don't consent. Okay, good. But it does it anyway. Wait, it's not allowed to do that. Legally, you can sue Discord now. <laughs> Alright. 
White Chocobo, I, want, I wish to talk to you. No. Not you, lady, just the Chocobo. Okay, it was it was easier to talk to the Chocobo in that other show. Friendly all of a sudden. Oh, so that's it. You want the uh, you want the Sam Sam Samalan greens, don't you? Interesting, because of what I bought was Mimet greens, but okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Here, go ahead and eat. The chocobo looks like it enjoys eating the greens. <laughs> How cute. I just want to tickle him. Feet, tickle his stomach, tickle his neck, tickle his belly button, tickle behind his ears, tickle under his arms. We know that he likes being tickled behind his ears. Yeah. And we got... Materia from the Chocobo. I was thinking of the breeding, and what do you mean? Mimic Green is uh, is what I bought to give it to him, and uh, and that's when he reacted. What's the matter? Are you all alone? You got lost, didn't you? Separated from someone you love? So I think. The nuts are for breeding. Which is funny when I say that out loud. Yeah. I was just about to make a joke about that. <clears throat> guess it's... Guess it's been about a week now since he washed up here on the shore. Poor pokey-headed young thing. It was really sad. But weird. He was holding this really long sword. I don't know, the whole thing feels unlucky to me, but the amazing thing was those weird blue eyes. What? Wh Wait a minute. What did you just say? Excuse me. That young person you were just talking about. Yeah, the villager found him a little way just down the coast. It was about a week ago, I think. Who's this? The old lady that you just voiced. Oh, I didn't realize. Ah, I thought that was still Hambone talking. Oops. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, poor kid. He must have drifted from somewhere pretty far away. A polio. It must be. It's a polio. You sure? Bingo! 
plot twisted, Zack. Yeah, it's a skeleton. Oh, what if... <laughs> what if his skeleton has, like, the points for his hair? I'm on Discord. 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 Come on, Discord. Oh, man, it's trying real hard. Or not hard enough, I guess. It's connected. What the fuck? <laughs> it won't load. There we go. So where is he? Is he safe? Where is he now? Yeah, up ahead here at the uh, clinic. He's alive! Oh, no. oh he is alive! Uh, yo, Hambone! Oh, hey! Oh, yeah. yeah, now. The way you're running around here, you'd think Meteor fell or something. I'm sorry, but I heard that a friend of mine was being taken care of here. A friend? Oh, yeah. That young fellow? Don't worry. Your friend is next door. But I'm afraid his condition is... Here? Over here. Apollo? Apollo, I'm so glad you're safe. Poisoning. Quite an advanced case. It appears this young man's been exposed to a high level of Mako energy for a protracted period of time. He probably has no idea who or where he is now. Poor fellow. His voice doesn't even work. He's literally miles away from us. Someplace far away where no one's ever been. All alone. Cloud.exe has encountered an error and needs to shut down. <laughs> <laughs> 404, cloud not found. Yeah. Doctor! That's bad. You lying or what? Let us excuse ourselves. <laughs> Listen, would you all mind waiting outside? Oh, 
Oh god, Hambone, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm on Discord. So I guess we can say that Cloud's mind is clouded. Oh. <laughs> I, what do you want me to do? Don't mako me laugh. <laughs> Please, Apollo, talk to me. Tell me you see me. If you can hear me, tell me please. I hey, see you, Sonic. We're gonna end after this scene anyway. Came this far believing in the memories we had together. This isn't happening. This is too cruel. Cruel. Polio. <sighs> so what about him? You know, a polio. I'll say it again, he's got Mako poisoning. I've never seen a case this bad. An immense amount of Mako-drenched knowledge was put into his brain all at once. No normal human could have survived it. It's a miracle he did. No wonder, after falling in the life stream and being washed up here. But remember, the light of hope can be found anywhere. Listen, if you give up hope, what will happen to him? Hope. Hey, but honestly, man, do I really want him to come back? What did he do for the world? What can he do for us from here on out? He may be nothing more than Sephiroth's shadow. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Nothing at all, Doc. You okay? Yes. I'm sorry I had you all worried. Said it, did it not come through? No. Yes. I'm sorry I had you all worried. Oh. Um, I'm still waiting for your stream to catch up then. Uh... Come on. Thank you. And I have something I want to tell you all. Anything else? Only a polio. <laughs> Come on, Discord. Mm -hmm. Jesus. I want to be by his side. Yeah, that's probably best for a polio. And for you. You gotta do it then. 
You gotta live true to yourself. I'm sorry to everyone. At a time like this. Why are you apologizing? We'll come back again and check on you. Look after Apolia. Take care, Hamden. Right. Oh, and, uh, Hambone. I don't like asking this, but... Is he really your childhood friend? And not Sephiroth's shadow? Hello, phone. Why you do that? Huh? Well... That is... <clears throat> no, I'm sure of it. Yeah? Okay then. Sorry for asking that. We gotta get back to the high wind. Discord. What are we gonna do now? What can we do? Huh? Ain't there nothing we can do? And don't go telling us to wait for Opolio to get better. Oh, I've got some news. Yeah, what? That you a spy? <laughs> yeah, I already told you I was. Both Gyahaha and Kyahaha are up to something. Wanna eavesdrop? Now then, we're faced with two issues. One, destroy Meteor. Two, remove the barrier around North Cave and defeat Sephiroth. Any ideas? <laughs> we already solved the first problem. Meteor will soon be smashed to bits. The plan has already been put in motion, namely to collect huge materia from each region. Well... I forgot that this fed into this scene. Mm. Huge materia is a high density. Uh, huge materia is a high density special type of materia made through a special compression proce uh, process in Mako reactors. The energy extracted from it is 30, uh, 330 times the strength of a normal materia. <laughs> How about that? We will gather all the huge material together and ram it in. Discord, I've had it up to here with you. I seriously have. Come on. Thank you. That'll cause a huge explosion, reducing Meteor literally to bits. You're going to ram Meteor. Do you think we have the technology to do it? Don't worry about that. More importantly, we've the, uh, we've got to blah, 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 blah. we've got to collect huge material from each area. We've already collected materia from Nibelheim. All that's left is Corel and Fort Condor. I've already dispatched troops to Corel. <laughs> Corel! 
What else can they do to Kirill? In the huge materia. You mean the huge materia, don't you? I've heard about it. When our small materia nears the larger one, something should happen. I'm certain of it. That's why we're using the power of materia in our fight. Can't let Shinra get a hold of the huge materia. Besides, when Apolio gets back, I want to show him this huge materia. He's gonna be shocked. So, what are you saying, Biscetti? Even though you're always knocking him, you really want Apolio to return. I ain't saying nothing about nothing. You just shut your face. Every group's gotta have a leader. And that's me. Or at least I want to be. But I ain't cut out to be no leader. I never knew that till lately. And that's what is... What? What's going on? You've been chosen to Why be the new leader. Why are you sleeping on the job, Linguini? <laughs> Pain in the ass. Forget it. But for us to fight, we gotta have High Wind and you. We needed to save the planet. And who's running this ship? You. That's why you're our new leader. Ain't no one else can. Uh, this ship's gonna save the planet, huh? Ain't that gonna be just a little tough? Oh man, that went straight to my heart. I'm a man too. Okay, I'll do it. Everyone follow me. Alright, now here's the first job. The operation room's waiting for you. Yeah! Yo, Lamguini. When you're ready, we're heading for the Corel Reactor. Come on, Mr. Leader, you better hurry. Did Discord catch up yet? Guess not. <laughs> well, while we're waiting for this to connect. Let's sing the Final Fantasy theme tune. Dying to talk to a babe like me. Just leave me alone. The ship makes the ship makes me. You called out to me. Lamguini, yeah. thank you for a job well done. Give me Mr. Floof and Warstash. Yeah. 
And we'll save. Alright, we accomplished a lot today. We got ourselves a ship. We got arrested. Uh, we got unarrested. We set loose some mythical beasts all across the world, and uh, we we gave our um, our best friend brain damage. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, with that, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for voice acting with me. And have a goopy night. A good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.